and we're live. We got a special guest this week. We got Chris Stuckman. He is a uh, official movie reviewer, uh, a Rotten Tomatoes <laughs> critic, and a published author. So uh, welcome aboard. We like to do a good bit of movie talk over here. Um, I, I don't know if you, we consider ourselves movie buffs or anything, but we watch a lot of movies, and and I in particular watch a shitload of TV. So this should be nice. fun. Thank you very much for having me on. I appreciate it. Yeah. So how do you get into the world of reviewing? Were you just talking to friends one day and you said, this movie sucks? And they're like, you got a real point. You need to go into this. <laughs> you just took off? This guy has a gift. Um, well, no, I mean, it kind of started just as a passion, really. I've always loved movies, and I've always loved uh, watching them. Obviously, you know, you grew up watching movies. But there, there's sort of like a, I don't know if it's like this for everybody, but for me, there was this time period where suddenly movies became more than just the thing I went with my mom to see. Uh, it was like, oh, wait a second, people make those. You know, people people write these and people come up with these ideas. And so, <clears throat> when they when it kind of when I kind of realized that it was something that could be artistic, that people thought up these ideas and and all these really cool things they wanted to see on the screen, I myself became really interested in that as well. And I spent most of my teenage years doing short films and all kinds of uh, crazy things, uh, Indiana Jones fan films and stuff, where we nearly killed ourselves doing our stunts and um it, it during that time i would write like user reviews on yahoo or something for movies you know quick little paragraphs of things and um when geocities was still around uh, yahoo's free movie hosting site i made my own website and wrote reviews on there in my free time and eventually it just kind of blossomed into a love of discussing film and i tried to do it on youtube as a kind of a combination of the two things. I love making short films with my friends and I love writing reviews. So I was like, well, why don't I film myself doing reviews? And I combined the, the two loves I had. And uh, it started pretty rocky. Uh, when YouTube, back in the early days, you guys probably remember this, you couldn't, you had to like apply for partnership. You know, you couldn't just automatically monetize your videos. So mm -hmm. I did it for free for like two, two and a half years while I worked uh, my normal job. And uh, eventually it was able to turn into a career over the years because of fan support and uh, sponsorships and things like that. So it's kind of crazy. So when I realized that movies weren't just something for me to consume, but were instead were like somebody else's hard work, it made me less likely to shit all over that movie. Like, you know, <laughs> it, it happened for me as an adult. Like, I, it, it, with this stupid YouTube channel I have... Um, I don't know. Not that what I do is, is a movie by any sense, but it, it made me appreciate like what it took to get audio done. And I've done a couple things that were like on a set here and there. And uh, just the whole team that's involved and all the editing and all the audio and, and the lighting. And like now I watch it in a slightly different way because I have something of a vibe <coughs> of what it was like off camera. I had the opposite reaction. <laughs> oh. and after learning uh, what, what goes into filmmaking and all that stuff, it made me much more likely to shit all over a film because it's like it's like you had one job, like your one job was that one thing, and not just you, but like half a dozen other people. And there was a guy in charge of your little group, and then there was a guy above him that was supposed to make check, be checking on his work, and you all fucked the pooch. Like when I see like slot like bad like stupid writing, bad writing, or even if it's uh it's it's some like inaccuracy in the storytelling, or if there's just stuff going on that I'm just like whoa, what are you doing there? That's that doesn't make any sense. I, I'm much more likely to shit on it because it's like you had one job. Why couldn't you polish out that that pro that huge glaring hole in your in your movie that they kind of ruins it? Because there were like me. 75 people on a committee all arguing about this plot line, and and then somehow the editor didn't get the memo and fucked up. The then that's sequence. a bad producer. Hmm. That's I'm his sure that job. for a lot of them, it's the same. It's just like watching a committee take over your baby where you're like this is what it's going to be it's so great all these ideas and you just hand it over to them and they're like that's good but oh tear this out you know but, what oh we need some romantic interest too and they start yeah. interjecting Sprinkle things that they don't need romance. perhaps yeah, we Spider can have a song 3. over here perfect example right? is. well now yeah. see that that's not their fault that that goes back to like um the studio will, will come to them with that bullshit and if you yeah, want the, the money to so make that, your movie you have kind of gives them an excuse in a way like that you shouldn't be as mad at them because it's like what did they really 
Like, how much of that is ridiculous? Like, when you see Will Smith drink a can of, like, uh, oh, I mean, fighting aliens really makes me want a Sprite Zero. And you're, like, <laughs> drinking it. It's like nobody wrote that in there and thought it was great. <laughs> Oh if it's se- I don't mind product placement if it's seamless and it fits the story. Like, um, like you know, I e- robot. Go- go- no, go back to E. T. She's eating those Reese's pieces. Like, I don't care. Like, she needed. She had to be eating some kind of candy. Sometimes and you know why she did M and M's? Because they wouldn't work G with fuel. them. <laughs> that's that's one of his sponsors. <laughs> um, it, it, I, I don't mind product placement if it's seamless, but 